Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a time lapse of the lovely Maggie and I'm just going to quickly explain why I use Zest It, which is a solvent blender while I do coloured pencil work. Um, I've been asked a couple of times um, how I blend and I always use Zest It. I don't like using um, the blending pencils um, personally and I don't like just using the pencils on their own um, burnishing while I blend, mainly because um, I have quite weak wrists. Um, I tore the ligaments in my wrists when I was younger and I get quite a lot of pain in both of my wrists. So when I draw for a long period of time, um, or if I press really hard with my pencils, my wrists start to ache and I do get like pins and needles in my fingers occasionally. So I <laughs> try and avoid that by not pressing hard, which means no blending via burnishing for me. Um, I love using a solvent blender. My personal favorite is Zest It. Um, I don't use mineral spirits or um, odorless mineral spirits at all. I just find they give me a headache. So I use the Zest It, which smells like oranges and it's just generally really nice. Um, I will put a little tag up the top so you can see my uh, Zest It hack of how I use it. But I find that with a liquid blender, um, if you use a little paintbrush, you can move the pigments around on the paper. It doesn't really dissolve the pigments, it dissolves the binders. So you can move the pigments around on your page. I find this is really useful if I have pressed too hard at any point and or I've put too many layers down and built up a bit of a wax bloom on the paper. Using a blender takes away the, uh, the wax bloom and means I can layer more. I also find it's really good if I have really dark colours that I have layered and layered and layered and layered. If I do a quick wipe over with, a, with my Zest It, it sort of smooths out the pigments, makes them brighter and also gives me a bit of texture to work on top of. So layering my whites or my really opaque colours for my highlights works really well on top of wherever I've used Zest It. Um, I know some people say that they don't like Zest It because they're not very good or they don't like solutions because they're not very good but I find if you know how to use them and get them to work well then they are a good tool to use. So for example I will use Zest It after I've got a lot of pigment down on the page. I won't just do one or two layers of pencil and then blend. I will do a lot of layers, usually six or seven, and then blend with the Zest It because it smudges all the colours together, gives me a nice amount to work on top of. Um, I also find it makes the pigments much more vibrant, so adding that on top of areas which have maybe got a little bit muddy, I can put the zest it on, bring it back to life a little bit and then I can put my details on top of that as well. So that is just a quick little video on why I like zest it. Um, I think it's great if you've got pencils that are quite waxy um, for getting rid of wax bloom, it's great for blending your colours and generally I just find it really useful because I can't burnish with my sore wrists. <laughs> Um, so I hope this video has been helpful to some people who have been curious as to why I use Zest It. Um, if you have liked this video, give, please give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!